Ladies and gentlemen, today's in-depth review is of the Star Wars Black Series Poe Dameron and First Order Riot Control Stormtrooper. Let's do this. This is an exclusive at Target. You have no, no clue how many I have gone through to find the perfect one. And I actually had to take a combination of a Poe Dameron, a helmet, and a Riot Control Stormtrooper from three different packages and combine them into one and take two back. I've been through, I think I counted 19, and all 19 had paint blemishes on them. I had to combine and make a custom, complete kit, paint blemish free, even though this one still has a little mark on his nose. I'm gonna show you if the camera can pick it up. Oh, oh man. Anyways, two pack has a really great box, open window, black, red on the background, picture of Poe and the Riot Control Stormtrooper, as well as the text of what I just said down below. They decided to put in big gray letters, Dameron, and then that's it. That's all they get, as well as the red text right there. Top, clear window, you can see inside, hello. On the right, there is no number like there usually is, but that's okay. On the back, we have the two pitches, as well as a little interesting cutout to separate the two because they're one's evil and one's good. So here on the left is Poe Dameron. Pause this if you like to read it and look at his gorgeous face. Here's Dr. Evil. And pause this if you'd like to read that. Bunch of mumbo jumbo nobody cares about on the bottom and the bottom of the back. So let's open it up. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have to do an unboxing with the unboxing glorious knife. Since I put together an ultimate package, I can just open it up right now. You know, I thought about starting off this review with the Riot Control Stormtrooper, but I'm going to start off with a fan favorite everyone has, including myself. If this isn't my favorite, he's like number two or three. Oh my God, Oscar Isaac killed it with Poe Dameron. This is him from the beginning of the film. Sorry if I spoiled anything. You're an idiot if you haven't seen this movie anyway. Poe Dameron. It looks just like him. Asterix. <laughs> compared to the pilot one looks god awful this one actually looks pretty good and might as well get into it real quick you can also fit a god please have <laughs> i'm never putting this helmet on again oh my god it took forever to put on jesus but there it is it goes on and i'm never putting on this helmet again because that is hard to do Good God, but he has the helmet in the beginning of the film. Here he is now, Poe Dameron. Jacket ends up being used by Finn. You can see these jackets are not the same color. What? Hasbro needs to lay off the meth. What the fuck? The jacket looks more realistic on Oscar Isaac than it does on this. This looks like a real jacket on a model or a statue. This just looks like a toy. They're screwing my boy Finn, man. His shirt is like this really, really extended polo. Interesting. We have a nice little silver kind of strap buckle thing. Bam, silver paint on the pocket. Red stripe on the heart and on near the shoulder. Nice ribbing. Looks almost like Native American. I actually like his jacket. I'm surprised actually if they didn't sell this jacket just yet. Like, you know, people own the drive jacket, Ryan Gosling wore type of deal. On the back, belt, nice pocket, lovely. This side, different. It's a really interesting design. Really big pocket. Uh, this one has it too, it just straps over it. That's good detailing. I like it. Finally could find a head that really didn't have any paint blemishes. His beard's a little funky. There's like no paint on the left side of his chin you can see right there. Oh well, I guess. His head, I'm not gonna try to swivel it anymore. Jacket catches it from going on a complete 360. Nice little Adam's apple I just noticed right there. And not much up and down action. Good job, Hasbro. Arms, he believes he can fly. Goes all the way up. Does not go backward, probably because the jacket, nearly a 90 degree angle. And same for the side. Hands, 360. 360. I'll go to his gun here in a second. Let's just finish him up. Belt. Interesting choice. Looks like some kind of rock pebble belt. And then I should say the clip of the belt. And the belt itself is like a brown leather. Jeans. Like 
brown cargo pants. What the hell is up with the knees? He must have dove in some mustard or something. And it's all like sand mustard. All like sprayed and... Oh, what the f*** is that shit? Bend it back. Black Series guys and girls can bend pretty far like Beckham. He has probably prohibited from the jacket. Cannot do the splits completely. But legs really don't go far back. And he can sit down just fine. So, and Hasbro don't give a rat's ass about you, and they did not paint the <laughs> knee articulation the awesome yellow. So if you do have them kneeling, it's gonna look kind of weird. Boots, kind of cool, black, a little stripe on top there. It's not a really rich black, it's like a matte, kind of desaturated. Bottom pegs, lovely. A lot of feet articulation. He's tiptoeing his Jordans as well. For some reason, figures nowadays have the ability to rotate on 360 at the very top thigh. And he does have a cutout right there. He can move on the 360. That is Poe Dameron. You can see his trigger happy finger has one on the left, his right, and none on the right, his left. Gun, bam. By the way, not warped at all. When he shoots Kylo Ren and it gets blocked. Fucking hell, mate. I can't get this fu I can't get this bloody thing out here, mate. There we go, mate. Oi! Doesn't want to there we go. Fuck. Goddamn gun. There we go. About as gun as we can get. Bam! It's in a droid. His gun obviously is different than the gun, which I actually thought for a quick second they had the same one, but they don't. Finn's gun. His gun's really not that great. Silver metallic finish with the random blotches of brown all around. I like the detailing here for the arm extension. The front looks like some kind of torpedo thing. It looks ridiculous. You can see the, the nice little grip there. Pretty much all of them have that, it seems. Here's Finn's has it. Here's the other side. It looks decent. It, I don't know. It just looks like a toy. I don't know if it's just a sculpt or if it's the paint. Don't know. Don't know no Felix. But that's Poe de Marine. Now before I get into the riot control guy, I just want to say his guns are pretty much the same exact guns as the regular First Order Stormtrooper. So go to my Stormtrooper review after this. <laughs> George W. says you should do it. All right, so here's our first order stormtrooper. As you can see, that is my paint blemish. Bam. I can probably take some white out on there. But I can just say to myself, he has some battle wounds. But sadly, that is the best one out of all of them. Shout out to Victoria's Cantina for helping me pick one. Because they all suck. Fucking Hasbro. But the first order stormtrooper is pretty much the same exact guy, except he comes with this shield does the shield come off that would be fabulous uh, please damn it bobby trader dude are you serious it won't come off come on you gotta come off yeah come off bitch he's got to say trader and throw the damn thing off come on off dude it's not gonna come off i'm gonna make it come off are you serious? I'm gonna try off camera because I can get more force. I'm just gonna pull his fucking arm off. I don't care. Yeah, bitch, suck it. That was a pain in the ass. And I don't think I'm ever gonna... I still can't get it out. There you go. Jesus. Finally came out. God. What a joke. Look at that joke of a paint app. Great job, China Fact. Dude, Hasbro has the worst fucking factors. I swear to God. Anyways... This is his riot shield, you can call it. All I'm gonna do is, uh, if I ever do a skit, trigger, and just drop it. Because putting this on and off is gonna be a huge pain in the ass. But here's the detailing. Same gloss white as the Stormtrooper armor. Have four little pegs, silver on top of black. Some kind of gray triangle, kind of weird. But good God, this was too hard to take off. That shouldn't be that damn hard. Black lines and the white, it's some plastic. Wish it was more like a stretchy rubber or maybe like a nylon, like a elastic maybe would help too. Make it a white elastic, I don't give a rat's ass. And then on some reason the other side here is gray. Is that some kind of like see-through thing if they have 
their armor up and they can like look through there. I don't know. If it is, that's a horrible representation on a toy. There it is. It looks cool though. But this is only used for one thing and one thing only. Trader! And is this supposed to be his little uh, thing he fights Finn with? If I remember correctly, I don't think this is it. I, I thought it was longer, but it does look some... Uh, maybe it extends out. That's what I'm thinking of. And this is like the regular version. It's just when it's extended in. Yeah, because I think... Th don't these go outward? Like this one flips out and this one like flips that way. I think that's how it works. Why the hell won't that be like that for this? That's stupid. Hasbro. Hasbro. Because all you want to do... Well, that sucks. This fucking gun doesn't want to stay in his hand. Trader! And of course, I don't have a lightsaber. Chris has one. So just pretend he has one. Bam! Trader! That's all I'm doing is panting throughout the whole movie. Trader! This gun, because, you know, this is a new uh, little thing. The shock, whatever the hell this is supposed to be kind of dips down there we go now I clicked into place so it's a little bit better there it is it's not a gun so he doesn't hold it like a gun so I mean I guess if you're a kid you can pretend man again these toys really aren't for kids buy the three and three quarters inch let the big kids play with this stuff okay yeah that's not gonna go onto the uh, little shock thing he's got and he can't hold it with the right arm either looks fucking stupid uh, you can see this is the exact same toy as the Stormtrooper First Order Black Series. I am going to flip this to my residential Star Wars expert, Chris, because he knows what he's talking about. Chris, what do you think of this two-pack of Poe Dameron and the Riot Control Stormtrooper? Traitor! Uh, the, the thing I don't like about this figure, just to get it right off the bat, is this thing will not stay in his hand. Worth a shit. I mean, it, it just, it won't. The way this figure is supposed to be is he holds it like this. Right. He holds it behind him. And it just won't stay in his hand. At all. Like, if you look at the package, in the packaging, it's all pressed up against the plastic so it stays there. When you actually play with it, it just falls right out. Which is the most annoying thing about it. It is basically the exact same trooper as the regular one, except it comes with a shield and this thing. It's cool that they actually made a figure of this so you could reenact the uh, riot trooper versus Finn thing. But for the most part, except for this stupid thing always falling out of his hand, I'm fine with that. This is a nice figure for me. I also want to say a couple of things. Doesn't this, like, when he does that little chink, yes. doesn't this, like, come out and this comes out and it extends? A little bit, yeah. So I was wondering about that. And number two, did you ever take off the shield? No, not yet. It is a huge pain in the fucking ass. Like, I could not believe how hard the damn thing was. I said in my review after I took it off, oh my god, I'm never putting it back on. I'm just gonna... Maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe not, but I'm, I don't know. Like, I think I feel like you are, but I don't know. I took it off, and then I said right after the review, I said, okay, I'm just going to keep it loose, and when I do my trigger, I'm just going to, like, pretend it's there and throw it down with my fingers. <laughs> Poe. Okay, now, the reason I picked this one up is because it is the only face sculpt of Poe available from the Black Series that actually looks like Oscar Isaac. The X-Wing pilot Poe, it honestly looks like he had half of his face melted or something. I don't know. It's horrible. This actually looks fairly like Oscar Isaac. That's why I got it. I like the look of this considerably more than the X-Wing pilot Poe. I also like his gun. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the jacket looks better than on Finn. It looks more like a jacket. The wrinkles are more defined. It's more tight to his body. It's not just uh, like this blob that like on Finn's body. It actually looks more like a jacket. I like the face sculpt. I like the knee pads, the way that looks. It all bends really nicely. The boots look good, too. Let's talk about his ass. This is the ass of Poe Dameron. Mm. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. What about you? Uh, no, a plus. Yeah. <laughs> My overall thoughts for this Poe figure is that I really like it. I actually have a Poe figure that looks like Oscar Isaac. That makes me happy. 
All right, so out of 10, this is a list price of 40 bucks. What would you give this set? Honestly, I think except for him dropping his dumb thing and the shield not being able to come off, I enjoy it. I give him both an 8 out of 10 total. I was actually going to think the exact same thing. So pretty much because of this guy, and we have a riot control trader guy. So 8 out of 10. Love the seal of approval? Yes. Love the seal of approval. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks once again for watching. May the force be with you. Don't be a traitor. Oh, it's great. One of the things that Hasbro does really well is Stormtroopers. And a lot of that is due to the fact that they're a lot more simple to create than an actor's face. Since you're creating entire armor, it's easier to make it look good. And they did. They made it look great. This figure in particular, unfortunately, has a little blob of white right there that I can't do anything about because I got this very early on in the Force Friday days when it was hard to find and I ordered it from eBay, actually. So that was my only option. But this figure looks amazing. I honestly don't really have any negatives about it. The back looks great too. It has the little backpack thing.